Welcome back to Get Your Popcorn Ready. It's your boy Hatch with my man T.O. in the building. What's up? Coming to the st- coming to the show today. See, I was gonna say stage. See, <laughs> yeah. coming to the show today, we got this comedian. He's world renowned, huge fan base, big. Russell Peters is coming to the show today, dog. I'm looking forward to it. Um, got a chance to peep out some of some of his clips of mm-hmm. some of his shows. Yeah, yeah. guy's pretty funny. So oh, he's I'm- funny. He's huge too. He's he's probably bigger worldwide than he is just here in the states. Like, he travels a lot. Like so, he's more internationally known than probably like mainstream. Like uh, yeah, yeah, for here, sure. Here in the states, absolutely. Like I say, he he just put a a billboard up on on Sunset oh, um, of him. So he he's big, he's big. So we're welcoming Russell Peters to the show. Get your popcorn ready, coming up. Hey, and make sure you guys subscribe to the Get Your Popcorn Ready podcast on Himalaya app. Welcome to Get Your Popcorn Ready. I'm your host today, T.O., and no. this is my guy. No, I'm your. Ho- I'm the host today. Welcome to Get Your Popcorn Ready. This is Hatch. I'm the host today. Now what? I'm just a fill-in. There my you go, just a fill-in. We got our man Russell Peters coming to the stage today, baby. I'm not on the stage. I'm on the stage? Well, it's kind of I'm a stage. At the table. It's just something I I'm say. I'm at the table. You're going to do it, do it right. Come you on, know bro. What? It's not a stage. But it's, it's, we're it's on stage. Oh, no, man, the Hatch, you already <laughs> fucked this one up. Exactly. Dang Dang this it. is why his Q rating <laughs> is on a decline. You, you know we what? Sh- we need this show So to that get means it. I do have a Q rating. You said I'm on a decline. That means I have one. It's not. It's in the negative. Wow. Okay, Russell, do you have a Q rating? I don't know. Do you know I, what it? Do you know what it is? I know what it is, but I'm pretty sure I don't have one. I think we need because I went to that. dinner last night and there was tons of paparazzi and none of them looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> the, one did this. One did this. Uh, no. Uh, no, not him. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And then I went in the restaurant. I go. I wonder who's in there. <laughs> Fucking nobody. There no. was nobody in the restaurant. And then I'm eating. And then I see. I don't know who left. And then I see all these fucking flashes going on outside. I go, and you don't know who, who the that fuck who was. was that? That? There right. was nobody here. You know what? Maybe they thought that was Russell Peters in there, and then you, no. the real one, came in, and you're like, okay, you missed it. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, you know. that must be it. You know what I'm saying? So, do you, okay, do you get noticed more like in this country or in? Because we know you're huge worldwide, right? You're one of the top comedians in the world because you travel a lot. Do you get? Notice here more in California and LA area, or probably overseas where you travel. No, I get I get no more and more. I'm getting noticed, okay. and by more different people. It used to be like I knew if I saw an Indian person, I was like, I know that yeah, guy's gonna yeah. know. <laughs> right. And if I saw an Asian person, they're also- m- likely they're gonna know. <laughs> but now it's like trippy. It's like like real like hard ass hood kids like. Hey, yo, cuz, I seen you, cuz. And I'm like, oh, hey. Hey, you funny as fuck, dog. And I'm like, oh, shit, okay, well, thanks. And then and then I got, like, real white guys, like, kind of like, hey, man, I really enjoyed your stuff. I'm like, wow, this is getting good. Just getting crossing big. that board, kid. Yeah, you got to cross over, yeah. man. Shoot, what, what's some of the some of the big shows you've done um, overseas, though? Because we know, like I said, you like to do your thing overseas. What's, what's the biggest show you've done overseas? I know what the biggest show. I mean, I always get to do like some groundbreaking type shit. So. Like, like what? What's, what's ground? Uh, what's ground? So last year in June, I opened the new Coca Cola Arena in Dubai. Ooh, that's okay. Big. I was literally the first performer in there. Like, nice. they were still taking the plastic off the seat the day the show was <laughs> opening. So how was it? How how was it? It was dope. It was like fourteen thousand people. Yeah, that's big. Wow. That's yeah, it was major. good. That's it was major. nice. It was real nice. So when you go on stage, do you have kind of like, uh, you know, going into it based on where you are, mm-hmm. kind of the material that you're going to use, or it's just kind of sometimes just off the cuff? Both. I, I You know, I know what my act is going to be, but then I always go off the cuff. Mm-hmm. And then you always got to add a joke for whatever local place you're in. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm in Houston. I got to mention, hey, don't film me because I know you guys have problems with that out here. <laughs> if I'm in Alabama, I, I probably don't do a show. But I, uh, but I, 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 I didn't get the Houston thing, so I wouldn't have been a good. You wouldn't have got, you didn't get that? Because no, they were filming at the. Baseball games, you know, cheating. Cheating oh, in the whole mic and Astros. Mike and oh, Astros shit. See, and all it went over that. my head. See, yeah. Know. See, he kind of slow. He might not no, get yeah. your that comedy. CT, he's a motherfucker. Yeah, man, absolutely. You. <laughs> absolutely. No, I'm actually pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are. You are aight. You are aight. You get headaches? Very seldom. I okay. know when I get headaches, it's because of like dehydration like sleep, yeah. or stress. <laughs> no, nah, it's not really stress. I mean, being in here, this is stress 
relief. You know what I mean? I know. Well, and I got any, comic. He tries to have comic relief, but that's why we brought you in. Today. Hey, no, it's <laughs> nice. I can see like a successful football player and you. Hey, and, uh, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Exactly. I'm, I'm I, was, I was, you know what? I got my eight years in. Did and you? That was, that was a Where, success. CFL? No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, in the NFL. And it was, it was, that was a success to me. What my team? eight years was a success. So I started out with the Minnesota Vikings. Mm-hmm. Then I went to the New York Jets. Mm-hmm. Uh, stint in Oakland for a year. Mm-hmm. And then I finished up with the Jacksonville Jaguars. So, that was so you worked for the Indian guy? The... Uh, yeah. Well, no. I think he wasn't. He's Pakistani. Uh, yeah. He, that wasn't the uh, owner at the time. It's like the same um, thing, right? Mm. No. I mean, essentially. I just want to. They, they get mad when you say it. I didn't want to say that. Indian or I said it Indian. because no, no. I know that's probably not politically correct. No, no, no. It's not even so that. It's, to... it's kind of true. I mean, like, genetically speaking, if you were to. Take the DNA from the an science Indian and take the DNA from a Pakistani. It's gonna, it's gonna be the same, same fucking thing. DNA. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know that y'all look alike. That's what we, we say. Are, we are the same people. Right. So, so here they get mad as shit when I say it though. <laughs> we're not the same. I'm like to us, same. y'all the same. No, no. To, they are. No, the fuck we, we are. are the same. We're about the same. We're the same color. So yeah. I, we kind of blend in. Well, no, I don't. We're not. But, no. well, we got yeah. Indians way darker than you. Oh really? Oh yeah. They don't have the genetic uh, gift, but they, uh, you know, mm. they just they just dark as fuck. Some of them. Really? You go to the south, and it's like, God damn, son. Like, maybe, yeah, maybe yeah. that's where you're from. Well, that don't just because you're the same color, I'm don't just, think you're a comedian. I'm not the same color. Exactly. As him. You kind of, Maybe close to it. Ashy as shit. Close, close to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he. You can tell he put on a little moisturizer. His forehead, kind of shiny. It's shiny. You know what I mean? It's saying. Hey, at, at least I'm not. Hey, at least I'm not wearing a nose ring. <laughs> oh, shit. Shut up. That does look a little. Uh, it looks like you got a nose ring in. It's all right. That I just it does look that. a little. Uh, like, what's that guy's I, name? I'm a little the bit basketball of player. The... Culture. I'm a cultural. You know, a little <laughs> eclectic. Uh, Rodman. Yeah, a little Rodman. Rodman. You got a little right Rodman. Right. So you and Rodman look alike. I got a little. Came up yeah, with. Sorry, good. <laughs> Speaking of that, uh, not that, but uh, like, who are like some of your favorite comedians? Like, who inspired you to be or do what you do? And then, what made you think? that you were like funny and you could do what you do right now. So I would listen to comedy in the seventies. Like, cause that's how you consumed it. There was no like watching. So seven, right. give me some seven. Like, so my comedians. parents had red Fox, dirty jokes record at home. Wow. And okay. I wasn't supposed to know about it, <laughs> but I found it and I would listen to it with the headphones on and I would giggle mm-hmm. and then I'd put it away. But then I would discover George Carlin and then I, then Cheech and Chong and then Steve Martin and then Eddie Murphy came around. I was like, oh, mm-hmm. shit, this is, this is real deal. This is dope. <laughs> and then I saw Eddie Murphy in concert in 1986. Really? In Toronto at, at Maple Leaf Gardens. And then my friend's sister, she was kind of like a groupie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so she told me that her and her own girls were going to Eddie Murphy's hotel. Nice. And then she told me which hotel and which room. Mm-hmm. So me and my friend that I went to the concert with, we ran... From Maple Leaf Gardens to the Four Seasons Hotel. No, you didn't. You didn't go knock at the door. Oh, oh, it gets better. We, <laughs> no. we, we're, we're, we're fucking fifteen year old boys oh, still. Right. We're like, and we run in. We walk into the hotel. We don't want to get be, that, them to be suspicious. So we walk past the elevators, and somehow right into the kitchen of the, of the hotel. <laughs> we walk through the kitchen, get to the fire escape stairs. And ran up 25 flights of stairs. Wow. And then knocked on his room door. Mm-hmm. And we're drenched with sweat, panting. <laughs> <sighs> and then uh, his bodyguard opens the door and goes, yeah. And I go, Eddie here? <laughs> <laughs> what? And like go, gonna... <laughs> he goes, you got you got sisters? I go, huh? You got a sister? I'm like, uh, no. He goes, well, you ain't getting in then. Right, right. <laughs> and I go, well, uh, but we just ran here and we ran up 25. So you'll want a soda? And I'm like, yeah, I'll take a soda. <laughs> so he gave me a Coke and I was like, yo, Eddie Murphy gave, gave me, me a Coke. Coke. Of course, that's the story. Yeah. Wow. A Coke without no smile. Yeah. Well, the kind of smiled. It was like, huh. get out of here, kid. Get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> girls only at that. Well, now yeah. you you know you being older, you understand what was going on. In oh the yeah, room. I get it now. I mean, like, <laughs> but it didn't look like a suite or nothing. It looked like a tiny ass little room. Well, back in the day, it probably was, you know. But I'm sure he wouldn't do that now. Now you know what? It was probably not even his room. It was probably one of the bodyguards' rooms. Facts. Yeah. Facts, yeah. yeah. Eddie that was probably sense. in a suite, like on a higher level or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Did you ever talk to the girl um, after that? Did they go see Eddie that night? Yeah, I talked to him after. I go, what happened? Yeah. Go, well, what? you know. I was like, oh, okay. What was their, what was their story? But they didn't have one. I was just like, yo, we knocked. They go, was that you guys? <laughs> <laughs> we heard you guys I couldn't knock. hear you. I had a dick yeah. in my ear. <laughs> Did I interrupt anything? <laughs> uh, so like I said, you, you grew up in Canada. Um, but like I said, a lot of your uh, comedy, you're, you're talking Indian. 
right? I'm talking Indian. You're talk, you're, you have an Indian accent. I don't, I don't do it like that. You got this you, all I'm wrong. I'm sorry, Indian. What the fuck? From Mum, from Mumbai, from Mumbai. Like, why, why would I? I, I do impression. Impression. Yeah, you made. But you made it sound like a walk on stage, and I'm good evening, everybody. That's what. Yeah, that's no, what. That's you not don't what do the that? fuck I oh, do. Yeah. <laughs> you, you ever seen me? God damn it! I've seen you, but you never walked on stage. Said, okay, I get it. Yeah, but you did. Like, if I'm talking about my dad, I do an impression of him. Right, yeah. it's an impression. Right. So yeah. the impre- right. the Indian impression that it, you do. Well, it's my dad. Well, okay. really, it's not my dad. That's like, how did you get? Because you grew up in Canada. You didn't. You yeah, came, but my parents are still from India. But they're so still. They, it's part of their speak, culture. They, they speak. Not like act. that, but it's more exaggerated because it's not funny the way my dad talks. Because the, the, it's a little bit different dialect with different. Um, no, they would just speak in English, but they just right. had an accent. Oh, okay. It's so, like how you sound country. Right. You, you <laughs> yeah, he does. Southern. Yeah, he sounds country. No, more southern than country. So, no. I mean, uh, I mean, okay, it's not country, country. country but, exactly. But you know, I'm from the south. Oh yeah, you can tell them from like, the south. Like, I come from Toronto, so we're attached to New York. So whatever New York did, we copied. Mm-hmm. Right. So to me, I kind of think New York, and I'm like anybody outside of New York is kind of country to me. Right. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So you're country too. I'll be oh, country. Yeah. Where are you yeah. from? Ohio. You're from oh, Ohio. Yeah. yeah. I Cleveland, thought you were from Texas. No. Who's no? No. Cleveland, Ohio. Why wow, he just looked at Cleveland, your head Ohio. and noticed like everything's big. I didn't know you were from Cleveland. <laughs> everything's big in Texas. You know what I mean? So he, looked, he just assumed. <laughs> I would was, assume you're from was Texas your too. Best joke. Now I'm the same, but you're young dog. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you, go, I, you might want to write that down nah, and, and text just, yourself. I'm that just later saying, dog. Like everything's big in Texas. So he looked at your forehead and just assumed. He even said forehead. Yeah. I know. That's what I said. I get it. That's part of the. You know. Yeah, but he's from Ohio. I don't know what to consider that. Hey, I mean, well, you're, on, you're on your way to Ohio, aren't you? Aren't you going to Ohio? Like I don't want to brag, guys. I'm going to Columbus next week. There you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's Columbus, that's Ohio. Gonna, Columbus, Ohio. And guess what's following Columbus? Uh, Toledo. Toledo. That's right. Yeah. Let me know when you're jealous. So <laughs> so Columbus, Toledo, then you're going to go over to Dubai. I mean, how no. how, how do you compare those No, right cities? now I'm writing. So this is my writing process. Okay. Writing new jokes. Yeah. Okay. So I, I go do different clubs every weekend. So you just what, test your material. I know. I just talk shit until I come up with stuff. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, so when you just got, you don't. You I don't, don't sit don't down nothing. and write nothing. I can't do that. I'm not. Gotcha. If I was able to do that, I probably wouldn't be doing comedy because I'd be uh, smart then. Yeah. But uh, some, that, some people do that, though. No, right? no, people are smart enough to do that. Right. But you're and not smart enough to do I'm that. I'm not smart enough to do that, and I'm also too fucking lazy to do that. But you know what works for you. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, I'm doing this 31 years. I figured, I figured out what works you for me. You figured it out. Yeah, you have figured it out. Man, I can't believe you're from years. Cleveland. I'm just shocked by this. You're shocked by that because we got good people in Cleveland, huh? Give a shout out to Cleveland, <laughs> Cleveland, Ohio. I OH mean, you got a lot of comics out of uh, uh, Cleveland. We do. We got a lot of everything. Arsenio, Steve Harvey. Well, you know Arsenio. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Halle Berry. Uh, Halle Steve Berry. Harvey. We got, we got nice everything though. from Steve Ohio. Harvey's right? nice. LeBron's from Ohio. We got everybody's from Ohio. You know what I'm saying? We got we got our piece. I mean, Ohio did do some good things. We did. You we started did. funk. Did, yeah, we did. Started pimping. Dayton. Dayton started funk. <laughs> You started pimping. I think they, the the pimping started in Cleveland. Pimping started. I've been in to Cleveland. Cleveland. There ain't no they, bitches ain't no, there. <laughs> um, I know who the fuck started pimping. Hey, pimping. Hey, pimping that pole right there. So who are don't your, move. Who are some of your top comedians that you will watch? I don't really watch it at all anymore. But who? Okay, okay, I get it. I get. I'm 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 the same. I'm I'm like with I'm like that with football. I don't. You don't I watch play, it. Do you? I, no, you I played football. football, but I didn't. I don't really watch it. Yeah, just for the sake of. Just, yeah, you did it. Did it's it. like your job, and you're like, eh. What I want to see somebody do this. I right. Wanna, right. I know how to do this. Right. Um, but I mean, and like, you see all the comics when you work in the clubs anyway. Right. You pass them and <clears> yeah, you bump. See, that's the popcorn shit. There you go. You about before don't, we started saving. Russell Peters go choke and die on the <laughs> get your popcorn. And it's good ass popcorn too. That's the bad part. Yeah, well, hey, you heard that, right? We've got some good popcorn here. Get your popcorn ready with Russell Peters, my man. So now going back over, I want to see, I want to compare you to compare like your dates when you do Columbus, Ohio, or small cities here, going over to Dubai and all those. Yeah, but by the time I get there, I have an act ready. Okay. I have a tour name, I have an act, I have my DJs, I have my cameramen. It's a big production at that point. So it's like preseason. Yeah, this is yeah, this is like training camp. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I liken it to boxing. It's, it's like you you're in the gym every day. You're hitting the bag. Some days you're sparring, some days you're not. Right. You know, it's the way it goes. Okay. No, you're a big boxing fan too, right? Yeah. Huge. That's, that's my number one. That's your number one. Boxing and then MMA. Okay. But I do jujitsu too now. So So you work out, you do jujitsu. I do jujitsu. Okay. I try to do it every day. We had a guest oh. on um last night and he was he's Former football player Sean Merriman. Who oh, I've seen Sean in the gym yeah. boxing now. Oh, yeah. oh so you, can you give us a 
What do you think? I what mean, he's think? a big fucking strong guy. You put hands on him? Can you whoop him? No, nah, he. I mean, maybe on jujitsu, I could take him down for sure. I'd get rid of him. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. I would let him. I'd let us because I, I know how to box. So, and if a guy's like his size, I'd be like, well, all I gotta do is avoid that mm-hmm. and then take him down, and I got him. The minute I get on top of you, it's good night. I don't care how fucking really? big you are. See, you're going to get taken. The technical and, stuff. And, that, yeah, that's that's the tech- I know you have a neck and I know you have an arm. <laughs> right. I'm going to get one of them. So that's some of the tactical stuff yeah. again we were asking about too. Like, and I'll just lay on you and you think I'm doing nothing, which you are. Yeah, and while you're scrambling and trying to, you're you know, do tired. whatever you do, I'm, you're I'm just letting you move into position. You're moving into position. I'm not moving into position. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So that's how you stay in shape. Well, it's the best shape I can get in. I'm I'm Indian. I don't have good genetics. <laughs> Look so at you, both of you. You stopped, both stopped playing how long ago? I'm 10 years, 12 uh, years 2011, now. yeah, was my last yeah, year. Yeah, so, and yeah. you're still in great shape. Yeah, Look I am. I don't know about you. How old are you? I'm in 45, man. And you're 47? Yes, 46. When, oh, when's your birthday? Oh, December 7th. 7th. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. Day after my mom. Oh, oh really? Oh, yeah, right you're later. Pearl Harbor, right. Yep, Pearl Harbor Day. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't, Pearl Harbor, I didn't know that. Yeah, of course you didn't. Okay, you <laughs> didn't. What you talking about? You just found out too. What so plan? <laughs> what happened on December seventh? You were born. Besides that, you somebody were born got a pearl again. necklace. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to help it was you a, out. It was actually a Pearl Harbor necklace. Yeah, he didn't he was say trying to coming. help you out. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Right, exactly. He tried to help him out. That's good. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, so let's say now, when you go overseas, so where where is where is your like tour going to start then? I don't know. So you, they they put all I, that they book. I mean, all I got like dates starting in June. Mm-hmm. The new tour I'm calling the Brown Exploitation Tour. Really? Yeah. So Why you not? you love being in in what politically incorrect? I that's mean, your, is that your thing? That's your lane? I wouldn't say that I love it. It's just I don't believe in being politically correct. Is all it is. Right, right. I don't go out of my way to be politically incorrect. Right, right. And really, what is politically correct anymore? That's the standard that politicians should be held to, mm-hmm. and they're not fucking politically correct they're anymore. Exactly. So why facts, should we be politically facts. correct if we're not politicians? Yeah, we definitely ain't no politicians. Yeah, I never. You know, I've never ever told nobody to grab somebody by the pussy. No. <laughs> and if you did, you'd and, be and, you would be vilified. If I if jail. I did, I could have been president. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, if I did that, I'd go to jail for sure. <laughs> you would have got shot by the cops before that. Without without doubt, and then put doubt. in jail. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you got kids now, Hatch? I don't. Not no, yet. That's envious. Yeah. I'm envious. I'm you envious just had. Now. You just had. I got a ten month old. Yeah. Ten, right. Congratulations. Oh on yeah. That. Congratulations. Yeah. Man. yeah, yeah sure. He just had. What? How old is she? Eight month. Eight month. Eight month. What do you yeah. go, girl? Well, one day they'll date. <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> you, you gotta be all. Know. Why you gotta be all? I just said perhaps. I, I know, but that, no. that, that, that was one of those day of fuck away from my daughter. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. was. My son's yeah. pretty, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell let's you about see, an ugly let's, baby. Let's see a picture. Let's see a picture of the. Oh, you want to see baby. my daughter then? Yeah. Let's just skip the podcast. Let's just fuck this got, podcast. Let's just show pictures. Y'all, y'all would try to get a baby date. How y'all go do baby dates? Yeah. Huh? What they go to do? Just pass each other's bottles to each other? Have some milk together? Look, he's, he's, oh. he's a good looking kid. Nothing like I know that's why he's a good looking kid. <laughs> Look, he's a good looking kid, right? That is a good looking kid. Oh, yeah. Look at my, listen, to, listen to my daughter. Listen to her. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what's bro- his mom? What's her, what's his, what's her mom? Sorry. What? Oh, shit. That's voiceover. That was T saying that. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Beautiful shit. daughter. Yeah, she's. Yeah. I got a Y'all daughter got, too. Yeah, hook that up. She's yeah. ten. Hook that up. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, she's nine. Fuck. Uh oh, you're in trouble. She will be ten this year. It's when I'm. Everything's changing. Do right. they ever? Has she ever seen uh, many of your shows? Is she old enough now she to understand? To... She knows what I do. Mm-hmm. She's come to shows, but she sits in the back. Yeah, yeah. Because I tell her, don't you don't want to hear daddy swearing tonight, baby? Just right. stay in the back, put your headphones on. Right, right. <clears throat> she doesn't care Watch about Pepper the show. The she's not like, <laughs> oh, I want to see what's going on. She's like, eh, it's not for me. That's My funny. daughter gets it. She knows how to lay in the cut. Right. What I about, go, what about I got a broader here and she wouldn't have bothered nobody. Good. She might have interrupted us a few times. Right. Say, Daddy. She, she wants something. Daddy. Can, Daddy. Uh, we're doing a podcast. Daddy. Mm. B- can, can you just buy me this on Roblox, please? <laughs> how old are your kids? My oldest is 20. Oh, shit. He's got, he's got one. He's got a kid at every year. So it's 20 down to 10 months. Eight months. So he's got 19 kids. That's good. Yeah, <laughs> your pullout game is terrible. You oh, pulled yeah. out of more games than you did pussy. Um. <laughs> that's yeah. that's a, that's a fact. That is absolutely a fact. 
<laughs> yeah. The only thing I pull out is my couch. <laughs> <laughs> You this pulled guy. out your dick a few times. Too. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, uh, you all stupid, y'all stupid. So, um, I want to go back to your your traveling overseas. Yeah, I, it's I, boring, Hatch. It's, it's not just boring talk. to us. I, Let's I, just I, talk like, like fucking gentlemen. Yeah, well, gentlemen <laughs> overseas. But like, tell us like something. Give us a story like going overseas. Like you know what was I mean, something. Just, you know, I get to meet a lot of different people. Like, I, two week was it two weeks ago now? Mm-hmm. Oh shit, two weeks today. In fact, hmm. I was in London and I was hanging out with Prince Charles. Really? Yeah. How was and that? Me, how Prince that Charles, one? and Katy Perry. R- that's random. Yeah. Very. Okay. And how, he's how cool was, as shit. I heard. I heard he's a cool dude. No, but like, I was shocked. You know, like, like. That's like, what I'm going to be saying when you leave here. I'm like, yo, yeah. I hung out with both of Peters. Man, we're going to really, hang out again. He's, he's cool as shit. We're, are your little Italian baby and my little Mexican son, we're going <laughs> to... Right, that's a mixture right oh, there. Yeah. They're going to build something. <laughs> Whether it's a wall or a house, it don't matter. They're going to build something. Uh, so, how, so how was it meeting them? How so, was Prince, so, so I expected it like to be like, you know, the, the photo op picture, like, yeah. thanks for formal, coming. Very yeah. nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. He dapped he, you up. like the, Oh, yeah, he was like, Russell Peters, or should I call you the Indian... D- because <laughs> really? that was the TV show I did. Where he goes, I go, holy shit, he knows my show. Nice. He goes, I, I haven't. Se- I go, have you seen it? He goes, no, I have yet to see it, but <laughs> I've heard wonderful <laughs> things about it. Can you send it to me? And I'm like, what? Send nice. it to you? Am I about to get Prince Charles fucking email? Nah, yeah. And I go, oh yeah, I, I, I mean, it's on Netflix, but I, uh, I can send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I voice- got all chunked. I was like, I didn't expect this, right? <laughs> your voice went high. No, it was just uh, <laughs> it was like that look left hook you don't see coming. Oh, what the fuck was that? You know, right? Yeah, so I was like, oh yeah, I, I could send it to you, but I mean, I, 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 I. and then he's like, and then I, I go. Uh, other people came to do the photos, and then I just kept standing there like a fucking idiot. So then I stepped off, I moved mm-hmm. out, mm-hmm. and then I was like, okay, I guess that's it for me and Prince Charles. And then he starts walking, and I'm standing there, and he goes. So he starts walking and talking to me. So we're just walking and talking. He's like, so you flew in specifically for this, did you? And I go, thank you for coming all that way. It's a long journey. <laughs> and, he, and he really emphasizes words like a, a detective. That's how he really? said Really? Russell Peters, <laughs> indie detective. <laughs> I got a video of him introducing me. It was pretty dope. Uh, so how, how did he introduce you? Can you he said, you oh, play the guy. fucking video. Why would, I, why, would I, why would I do it? Why would I say it when Injustice, I could just right, play the right. goddamn video? <laughs> but I just wanted to hear your impression. To yeah, see well, I'll, do, I'll play his, and his, then I'll do my impression. His no, I want you to do the impression, okay. then his look impression. at the video second. Anyway, so to see if listen. you're on. I'm Detective. I like that. That's yeah, major. That's nice. Peter's yeah, comic genius. He <laughs> emphasizes words. Probably the last one. Terrell Owens. Matthew Hatch. No, it's Terrell. Terrell? Terrell. See, I'm a boxing fan, so there was yeah. Tyrell Biggs. But so I go with Terrell for Tyrell. No, we're right, not right, right. Terrell. That's them. I mean, it's You know, uh, there's a kid in my daughter's school. And the kid's father is like Michael Jackson's nephew, and his name's Terrell, too. Terrell. Yeah. Huh. It's like the same, Terrell's exact Texas. same. Yeah. Terrell, Terrell Texas. Jackson. That's your new name. Terrell Jackson. That's He's cool. Terrell Jackson, that kid, I think. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. yeah. That's what you go be Me, now. Michael Jackson. Don't all put of us, you. you see, know. he always tries we, to put his name into those like, big, you know, superstars. Like, he's not that. He's not, he's not on that. Listen, I got to tell both of you something. I don't like football. You know what? That, that's I'm with one, you. I, I, I don't like it either. I, I just I, played the shit. Don't he be loves a it. hater. I do love it. <laughs> he I, loves I, it. I love. I do I, love. Let me sport. tell you something. My problem is with this fucking. Tell me. Sport. Tell me. Tell me about. First football. of all, people really romanticize this fucking game like it's so exciting. Absolutely. I'm Absolutely. telling you, it is what the most you boring then? fucking sport. What's What's boring? Is it, is it t- that you don't understand it? Listen. I, okay. Well, number one, I don't understand okay, it. True. Right. Right. But what I don't understand is. There's four seconds of action, Seven. and then there's a fucking meeting for ten minutes, <laughs> and then the four more seconds, and then another fucking meeting. Uh-huh. This uh-huh. game could be over in fifteen minutes. Sure, that but sounds you like me in the bedroom. For three hours. <laughs> that sounds like me in the bedroom. Four Should seconds post- and then a meeting. <laughs> yeah, I want to meeting. apologize about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, and then Clearly, that must be his his, his scenario too, because he ain't got no kids. <laughs> I mean, he, he he's got premature ejaculation two blocks from her house, <laughs> right on the drive up. So when he gets, <laughs> <to> her, 
Uh, yeah. What I, happened? I'm not going to make it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to make it over. I blew a tire. <laughs> right. Um, so, okay. So you, you don't understand it. Right? I don't so understand it. When you see a play, right? When you, when you watch. I just put it anywhere, court. Matthew. Yeah. I mean, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I wish so, I had a flag right now. Just throw it I over. Mean, hey, more your little. This, this is you, why you only played eight years. Right? Is, <laughs> clearly, a little, a, little, a, little, a little clumsy, a little clumsy over here. So for all you listeners out there, I just spilled the popcorn. So you gotta forgive he said, us. That's little why bit. you only play eight years. Hey, I heard him. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That was an accident. You never, you never had no accident, Russ. Oh man, oh, yeah. Yeah, what's, just, what's the, what's just the... not here. <laughs> so I know you done stubbed your toe in the middle of the night or something, oh, or you spilled man. the Kool Aid yeah. or something. But, but nobody was there to see I it. Know. <laughs> I know. Right? Hey, yeah. it ain't on film, dummy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me. Hey, look. God. <laughs> oh, I'm, put, man, I'm, put, I'm, I'm putting all this in the middle. Yeah, so, oh, keep I that coffee the fuck over there, man. <laughs> oh, y'all stupid. Can't stand y'all. <laughs> We're stupid. But friends like. Yeah, we're, we're friends like this. Exactly. You know, we're friends like this. Who needs enemies? You know what I'm saying? But um, okay, so you don't understand the game. I don't understand. So what's right? What sport do you follow? Just, I'm just boxing and MMA, just combat sports. You know, I, I would have never guessed that you would be a follower of MMA. I mean, I boxed amateur for nine years. Oh, there oh it is. really? Yeah, see this? Uh, it's a good deal. So it used to wow. be straight. It was just he's probably used to be smaller. I mean, I just it was a big target. <laughs> I got I got clocked on that right away. So like, even with headgear on, I was trying to get a headgear that stretched out, <laughs> and I mean with a big ass forehead thing on it to protect my nose. So he wouldn't have been a good boxer. Huh? I would have been a great boxer. No, you're you target. Find, you want to find out, young big. fella? Put these <laughs> hands that on that target you. No, right there, though. I'm saying it's, it's <laughs> he got a big target. Good right old there. football fights <laughs> hey, with all your with, with all, all your, the gear on. Yeah, with all your gear on. Real tough guys out there. Exactly. You know the tough guys are in sports. As far as I'm going, the hockey players. They, oh, yeah, Because yeah, those no white doubt. boys are crazy. No, no, they're, they're very they tough. Yeah, they, they fight. And they fight on ice. Right. Which is harder to that, way Yeah, harder you can't even get, like, balance. And they still manage to knock each other out. I'm like, yeah. damn, that's pretty good. I, I, that's impressive. Eight to nine, nine eight years? Eight years in school. Nine, nine years? Nine, I, I, listen, I say nine. Let me be mm -hmm. real with you. It was 85 to 94, right? But it was really, like, 85 to, like... 88 and a half. <laughs> so you weren't there like the 88 rest. and a half, and then, mm -hmm. and then I started going less and less. Mm -hmm. Like, it was, it would go from four days a week three. to three, to two, to one, to once a month, to mm -hmm. so 90, by 94 came around, I go, I, I guess I don't box no more. I haven't no, been in a while. No. So boxing, you went from boxing, and you're to transitioning to, to comedy. But I was doing comedy while I was while boxing. While you were boxing. Oh wow! That didn't affect your comedy. Nah, nah. That I was getting, the comedy. I wasn't getting hit. <laughs> I wasn't getting hit no more at, by then. Really? Yeah, I, I stopped sparring probably around late eighty. You know what I mean? I was like, mm -hmm. "What the fuck am I doing this for?" Yeah, I'm funny. Well, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not going to be a pro fighter. I don't need to get punched in the face. No. I'm probably going to get hit on stage anyway. So, wow. I'm trying to, you know. I liked sparring. It was fun because it was always light sparring. It was never like fucking. It wasn't ever in a war in the in the gym. Really? Right. So we didn't so, have no killers. So you were just gym. right. I no. say you were just telling like y'all was just kind of play fighting pretty much. No, we would tap each other, and if mm. every now and then you'd hit somebody a little harder than you meant to, or hey, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Why would I do that? <laughs> because that was your <laughs> accent. You that's you that's how I talk. That's how you was talking. Is that what you hear right did, now? Did that's you see I, yeah. that? I when I, if I impression, look, that's that, that's what the fuck you hear. That's right? terrible. I, I, you look like like from Mumbai. You look like from Mumbai. That's my mom's like accent. Saying, you, I love I saying I don't Mumbai. know what fucking accent that is. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. That's so politically incorrect. I'm not worried it, about politically incorrect. I'm worried about racially inaccurate. <laughs> that, <laughs> that too. Just you know, that's my, that's all I got. That's my Indian accent. I know. Why don't you do a Cleveland Indian accent? <laughs> <laughs> a Cleveland lost. Indian. <laughs> oh, I like that Cleveland yeah. Indian. You, you accent. just now caught that. Yeah. A little late. That was like. No, I did not caught it. No, you he, didn't catch it. He did caught it. Yeah. First of all, yeah. you what yeah. part of Alabama? I did <laughs> the one that can't. I did spell catch it. What do you mean? I, I said one. I caught it. All of it. <laughs> did I say did I, I did what? Yeah, you did. My bad. It's okay. It's all good. It's all, it's Speaking all good. of like just racially slur, racial slurs and things that have you ever has there ever been any controversy behind something that that you've said? I know some I, every blue moon they have a comedian that does something crazy, say something insensitive or what have you, and then it's all over TMZ and then nah, it's a, you know that. I, I think I get, like, when I post old clips, like, shit from my set, like, maybe 15, 12, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. 
I get like young kids now like commenting, man, you shouldn't say that. I'm like, fuck you, dick. Oh, right. <laughs> that shit was <laughs> hilarious when I did it. Right, right. You can't you're, say nobody that to was a offended kid? then. Right, you're seeing it. 15 I'm not years saying later. it now, so shut the fuck up yeah. and just laugh, you stupid. You can't say that to a little kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, little kid yeah. like in their twenties. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like the 18, whatever these yeah, fuck them. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you sensitive bitches, stop it. <laughs> Just grow a pair. Yeah, facts. Right. That's right. what I'm working. That's all the material I'm working on right now is about that. About like about how pair. sensitive this next gen, this the oh, generation below us yeah. is. Right. Right. And like, but how, does they really do, do? They really matter though. Or are you just trying to? No, edu- course, are, are you, no they a, do matter. But you're because, educating them. At yeah, the same I'm time. just trying to explain to them why we're this way. Like so we, some, we, we grew say, up this way. Yeah, we grew up this way, and we're like the watered down version of our parents because our parents had some foul shit. Yeah, it's just like even just with disciplined kids now, like yeah, we, we got I got beat. Like, I got oh, my we, ass yeah, whooped. Got, so we, now you get yeah. whooped. You, you get hit. Yeah. You, you know, you get used to. They see any type of marks on your kid. They're oh, calling yeah. you. They're calling, they're calling, calling the media. parents. They're calling HR. Yeah. They're calling people in. Oh, yeah, we, yeah no. we got we got beat with like with switches. Like from I got, the, I, got yeah, from I wouldn't say beat. I get, we got whoopings. Like I got you beat. Know, white people, they say whippings or they put their kids in timeout. Yeah, we never time had out. No, no. First of all, time out. my timeout nothing. was if I was bleeding. <laughs> right. I you, knew give nothing. them five minutes and I'm gonna whoop you again. Get the That's cuck what, man time in, yeah. out was only a <laughs> reference to sports. Yeah. <laughs> when when I grew up. Yeah, there was no Then to time now here, you know, parents put their kids in timeout. I'm like, what even my Or take away their iPad or something. Right, even my daughter. Daughter's mom, I'm like, yeah, I put her in time. I'm like, what? Time, it's whoop her butt. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's, that's what discipline. needs to happen. Because well, see, with kids, girls, it's different, I think. No, I mean, you won't, you won't no, because, girl? No, my daughter's actually really sweet. I would right. tell you if she was but a dick. But girls are manipulative and they're she's very smart. A... Right. Yeah. Given this point, that point in case, it's my daughter. She's very smart. How old is she? She's five. Oh. <laughs> she's five <laughs> and she knows, like, okay. She ha- it happens to get in a timeout one time. Okay, it's maybe a little punishment. Then she knows she do something again. She goes into timeout. That's really nothing. Yeah. And then they progress. She's like, I'm, I'm ready to do the time for this crime. <laughs> right, I'm- exactly. Then they progress. No, not like you said. You mentioned they taking the iPad away. Yeah. Okay, you taking it what? F- taking away for a number of hours, minutes, a day yes, or whatever. Right. She knows, okay, that's nothing. Yeah. I'm still, still getting it back. Exactly. Yeah. She My knows parents going to get it back. Out. Like, yeah, there's like done, fuck, gone. Damn, fuck it. You don't, you don't, yeah, okay, trash. They'd show you it going in the trash. <laughs> my grandma, and I'd be like, I'd be like, they're gonna take it out. Like, nope, the trash no. is going out tomorrow. I'm like, <laughs> what? Here my goes grandma. my fucking fake Atari that they bought me. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have the real one. Well, well they had the Gemini. Remember Gemini? Gemini made like a knockoff Atari. They sold it at Kmart remember. back in the day in the early, wow. in the early 80s. No, and it played Atari games, but it, it wasn't an Atari system. Did it have a, a remote? it had a different controller instead right. of having the joystick it had right. like a wheel <laughs> so you would you could drive you know and, and it came with a free game the free game was mousetrap that's all you got so that's how that's you had they would games. just throw it out i'm like fuck. i, know, I never had video games I, yeah. they didn't throw it out out that one because they it was expensive so they threw it out in front of me and then you cry it would show up a couple of days later by oh but they would still have like dirt dust and dirt on it and she oh, had to wipe it like, that, you had to clean it up if yeah. my grandmother again. was living today trust me it wouldn't have been no resurfacing she would have smashed it right in front of yeah. you the only reason my parents didn't because they paid for it <laughs> oh shit yeah, if i paid for it they would have been like yeah we'll smash it but wait hold on <laughs> this is our money you're fucking with now Video games is big. Yeah, I, I don't. I think, like I said, I never really day, wasn't. A, I wasn't much of a video game. I guy. loved video games. We, we never had. No, I had one, friends, so I didn't. Need yeah, them, I, would, but... I would go over to my friend's house and play video games. We never had one at the house, but I would always go to their houses and play. But yeah, that, that's a, Are you that a gamer. Was, no, I mean on the football field, actual sports. Oh, I'm nobody a gamer. asked you all that. You play I'm football? T- I'm talking to oh. him. I'm talking. You're to talking to Russell us. Pitas. <laughs> Russell Pitas. He just, went, he just went Nigerian on you. Yeah, <laughs> Russell Pitas. Yeah, but I yeah I, I back in the day yeah the Atari, um, Nintendo like I played like in college it was a big thing we played Coach K, and then you know that's um, when Sega that's Se- when Sega Sega, came. Yeah. Sega Sega all those then college football Contra. Came out. And you do the, the up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. You get the little extra, extra code for like know. extra points, extra men. Don't know what that is. I, I never, I like, I used to sleep uh, back in like 96. I used to sleep on Patrice O'Neill's couch in Jersey. In New Who Jersey. is Patrice O'Neill? He was a, one of the funniest comics to have ever lived. If you really? ever get a chance. And especially both of y'all. I mean, especially you because you got kids and and. And baby mamas, you should definitely watch this. <laughs> um, watch his last special, Elephant in the Room. Probably the best stand-up special I've seen in 
30 years. Elephant really? in the room? Yeah. Okay, I like oh. that. Okay. Okay. I used to sleep on his couch when him and Keith Robinson were roommates. Mm-hmm. And I would have to... I'd have to sit in the armchair while they were playing fucking video games till 6.30 in the morning. Mm-hmm. And I'd be... And then I would have to tell them, so sit together. So that way I can have a space on the couch where your asses weren't all night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I could have a clean... I didn't want to have my fucking head in, in Patrice's 450 pound ass space. <laughs> so I would sit at sleep at the other end of the couch. So is that when, when did you get your uh, your big break? Like your first big uh big I never really got a show. big break. It was like it just kind of happened. Nobody right. was like, here is your big break. Right. You know. Because you were sleeping on couches for so long. I was sleeping on right? couches for a long time. I gotta do what I gotta do, right? right? So when did you know that you were like, okay, I'm on to something? Like you were I still didn't really know. I I, I was thinking it was just like a thing that was happening and was gonna go away. Mm. so like in like 2005 things started to pick up and change and i was like oh this is cool i'm making way more money at these shows yeah i'm like man it's gonna suck when this ends and then i was like <laughs> i literally thought it was like you're gonna do this one show they're gonna give you some money and it's not gonna happen again mm-hmm. that's how no i was way. similar path with football right. same thing what, what did you, what, how did your shit happen you, just, so you made a fuck ton of money, though, right? But it it just happened. Like, I never thought I would play beyond the collegiate level. I'm sure these guys have heard the story. Like, I never thought I would. I never thought I was going to be a professional res- receiver. Right. I just thought I was going to play. I played in high school. And I to get to UT Chattanooga. Were you the best in your high school? No. Hmm. To get to Chattanooga, I got there on the heels of someone else that they were recruiting. So I got well, there. Did that guy go pro? No. <laughs> was he better than you? Yes. And why time. did he not he was go pro? It, like I said, we have a similar path. Just, things happen for you know the people for whatever reasons, and you try to make the most of the opportunities. So that's that's kind of what happened. Yeah, because I don't know football, but I knew who you were. Did you, like, have you ever? I, this is what I was trying to tell him. You, you, you've never seen him play. No, I've it's never right. fucking seen anybody play. Exactly. Right. Right. But he's that's heard when, like, when it's I'm on, trying it, to just, it looks like Japanese writing to me. I'm right. Like, I don't know but that's I'm why we're trying to explain him why it's <laughs> yeah. get your popcorn ready with it should T-O be, and hatch. It should be hatch and T.O. Like, I, I know you and I know uh, Ocho Cinco. I, I, like, <laughs> that's all that needs to be and, said. And Ray Lewis. But I know Ray Lewis because me and him hung out back in the 90s. In Real, Toronto wow. when he was there. Oh, I was about to say, you hung out in Atlanta? No, no, no. When he first signed with the Ravens. Mm-hmm. And oh, he was okay. in Toronto just hanging out and he had just signed and we have a, we had a great time. And then I I you know, I again I didn't watch the game. So right. I knew him. I was like, Oh, that's Ray Lewis, a great guy. And then I started hearing about him, but I was like, I wasn't sure if that's the same guy. I mean, it looked like him and mm-hmm. same name, but I was like, I don't think that's him. He can't, not, he can't be that Lewis. good guy. What? Right, right, One right. of the best <laughs> linebackers ever. Yeah. And then I just saw him like uh, at an Oscar party. Right. And right. we both look at each other and go, Can we hang out like ninety seven? He goes, yeah, in Toronto, right? And twenty years ago, thirty. <laughs> 30 oh yeah, twenty. Yeah, twenty. Twenty something years ago. Yeah, yeah years shit. Ago. Wow. And then he let me put on his ring and stuff. And right, right. Took a picture with the ring. And that's awesome. Yeah, it's kind of cool. He's a real cool guy. Yeah, that's no, he wants to get boy. into acting we, now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I said, listen, last football player that got into acting made one giant mistake. He killed a white woman. So don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! This yeah, could this go a number of ways, but we're gonna stay away from that. Yeah, we're gonna we go, stay, yeah, we're we gonna go stay left right there. there. <laughs> 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 popcorn. I thought you said you weren't politically correct. Yeah, 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 man, yeah. You want to be alive though, too. Yeah, I, mean, I ain't gonna throw my boy <laughs> under the bus. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not going to do. Met, I'm not going to do no Gail King stuff up in here. You know what I mean? I'm gonna I take care of my own. Never met OJ. Why would I have met him? Um, have I met OJ? I honestly only knew him from uh, the Hertz commercials and right. Naked Gun movies. Uh, I had yeah, some OJ yeah. last night. That's not 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 the same. No. Oh, that's I, not that OJ. This guy. Yeah. This guy right that's here. That's about it. And oh. I remember him from the Flintstones. Remember when they had OK Simstone? No. Who? I don't remember that. I don't remember that one. Back OK. In, OK Simstone. Do you remember that? <laughs> On nobody the Flintstones remembers that. back in the day, they nobody had a character that. named OK Simstone. No. no, that nobody remembers That's that. Hilarious. You no. can find that. Somebody Google that shit. And you'll You're find the it. only one that knows. Nobody in here we remembers had, that. Because yeah, I'm older than both of you. Not by much. How know, but barely. Maybe I was just watching way more cartoons than y'all. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I watched. He's a cartoon, so like, yeah, he's watching himself. Absolutely. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. How long, How did you guys become friends? Oh, we were he saw 20. me from afar, started uh-huh. admiring my skills. He came set. and got my autograph. You know I, mean? I was like, get out of here, little he kid. He was like, hey, man, dark skin guys are back in style. <laughs> <laughs> that too. And we still are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're not. You know who's staying in my house right now, speaking of dark skin, is Big Daddy Kane. Oh, is he? Yeah. Big? Yeah, wow. He's, he's Dark Gable. That's what he calls himself. So. <laughs> 
But we started out on the same done. same level, same playing field. It started out the same, just didn't right. end the same. We, it didn't but end guess the what? Same. It's, it's a full circle. We back together. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's all good. I so you met in football? We yeah, met because of football. because of football. Yeah. yeah, like we met in the airport, airport actually. Yeah. But like I said, we played each other that year. We just didn't cross. Like after a game, I would like go you straight didn't to bump locker into room. each other. Now? We didn't. Nah, didn't yeah, bump, it like, wasn't on each the, other. No, nah, because honestly, as a receiver, we, had, we would never be on the field at the same time. You're both receivers? We're both receivers. Yeah. So a receiver, well, some, some, I was. A receiver is somebody who catches the ball from the quarterback. Hey, man. Just make a receiver it, nowadays is something different. Like, that's what I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> clarify all of that. Uh, uh, right? We catch the ball from the QB. Yeah, and I we, think the receiver catches some balls, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we professional This is going to be the one football. that gets you guys in a lot of trouble. And no, it, no. It ends all of our careers, guys. Good <laughs> we news all for going you. down. It might give you one. I, uh, wow. Exactly. wow. Exactly. He doesn't have one. I do so have this is, one. This is, this is what we're trying to even explain. Up. We're you trying to explain this to this shut guy. Zip it, it up and throw it away. So accidents up. can, you know, you know, trajectory anyway, guys' I, careers you know, one of y'all. through the roof, anyway. through, to the moon. You know what? I want, what's, uh, what's, what's your biggest payday? That's what I want to know. What's your um, biggest? That one check you was like, oh, one check? yeah, I don't. I don't know, maybe... It depends on like when I mean, you gotta you gotta balance it against who's giving you this money and why Facts. you're getting it. Right, 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 right. So if it's a corporation, you're like, eh, it ain't nothing to them. Right, right. You know what I mean? So you're like, eh, it's kinda weak. Right. And then you look at like some where you get like one comedy club I did uh, years ago mm-hmm. for a weekend and and they just kept adding shows. Mm-hmm. And by the end of the weekend I got a check for hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That's a good weekend. And that's just at a comedy club, and I'm like right. God right. damn, it's <laughs> well, fucking dope. What would be a usual, uh, like, a weekend for, for a comedy club when you were, like, 20 years ago? For oh, you? 20 years ago? Yeah, I what would, would you Maybe, make? maybe 1500 bucks. Really? No way. Ooh, maybe 1500 You went from 1500 to 150 No, that's crazy. That's Maybe. Right. When you're, like, a no-name, mm-hmm. you like, I was a no-name for a long time. Right, right. I, you get paid shit. Just come on in. Oh, it's like, listen, we're going to let you work our club. <laughs> I remember when I started um, in Toronto, when I started gaining like some popularity. So the one comedy club that I used to work for, um, they had a rating, a pay scale system. So it would be like a A, double mm-hmm. A, and triple A right. headliner. So the A headliner would get 100, double mm-hmm. A would get 150, and the triple mm-hmm. A would get 200. That was the highest you can make right. per show all weekend. At this club, right. Right. So you do six shows, <clears throat> I'm making 1,200 bucks. That's it. Right? For six shows. Yeah, but if you're doing them, you, you're you going to get 600 bucks. That's not good. And you know what I mean? So it's, it's real shit. Yeah, yeah. So, but I started gaining a following, and the club started packing itself out. So mm-hmm. the- Owners of the of the club was like, listen, we never did this before, but we're going to do something we never do for you. Mm-hmm. I go, what's that? They go, we're going to give you the $200 a show, but we're going to give you a dollar extra for every paid customer that comes in here. Okay. I was okay. like, oh, wow, that's so cool. Right, right. So they said, so you have the potential to make like about 550 bucks a show. Which and I'm like, big. well, that's, that's fucking great. Right. I go, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. And the ticket price was $17 to get in right then. Mm-hmm. These motherfuckers raised the price to twenty dollars <laughs> to pay. They made so two bucks they made two week. bucks, and I uh, made yeah. one. Yeah, they got you. <laughs> hey, that's business. That's the shady ass game. Yeah, it is. That's, yeah, that's, that's business. That's the business model yeah. they set up. But then, yeah, if you don't have a business manager to kind of assess that, before, I had nothing going on at yeah. that time. Were, right, but I'm just like, eh. Well, it's more money than I would have made. Uh, that's how I looked at it. You know? Right. But now I'm sure that educated you going forward. And that's why oh, yeah. people have business managers and accountant, things of that nature yeah, to, my, to my manage brother, the, yeah, my Your brother handles your money? Yeah. Well, he's my manager, my my <laughs> live manager. And Paulie is my uh, your guy. home and TV guy. Thank, Thank you. Hey, you give keep a it, out the canny, my man. Keep it in the family, huh? Yeah, you know. As well you should. Would you trust your family? You, you know, yeah, exactly. Kids, you, how many First brothers and you got? Excuse me? How many brothers you got? Sisters, uh, brothers? I got one brother. That's it, just you and him. Mm, two, no, two sisters. In my immediate family, mm-hmm. I have two sisters, one brother. Which and one my, are you? I'm the oldest. Oh, okay. And mm-hmm. on my dad's side, I have five five sisters. Oh, dad. <clears throat> but I didn't know who he was to like preteen. I grew up with black guys. I understand this math. It's good. <laughs> I got you. I know, I know this already. <laughs> right. Hey, you well, know how many friends of mine were like, yo, I just found out I got fucking 10 brothers and sisters in Jamaica. I'm like, wow. what? Jamaica, come yeah. on. Yeah, because everybody in Toronto is West Indian. So it was like, Yo, I gotta go to Jamaica and meet my brothers and sisters. I go, never met them. Motherfucker, we've been best friends like, for 35 years, <laughs> and you just tell me you got brothers and sisters. You know Nav, then, the super fan. I, I know Nav very well, yeah. yeah. Do you know Nav? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, that's my man. Yeah, I your man the super flown fan. into Toronto, hung out with him, oh, he's sat the court, best. court court side with him. We've gone to playoff games. Super duper yeah, Nav, guy. Nav's my guy. He's yep. the one that makes me go to basketball games. I don't want. And to you don't understand basketball neither. I don't like it either. He really like he is like he's almost he's like us right under Drake as far as. Fan favorite. No, no, he, he's he's above Drake. You I think mean. so? Yeah, really? he's also so. been around since the Raptors. Started. Yeah, from oh, since '95. Okay. Yeah, but and obviously, like I said, you no, know, Drake, Drake is very popular. popular but, but but he has his own following too. Like we went in there. Like I know. Like even me being in Toronto, it's like, like I the, played in Buffalo, and then when I did when you play Buffalo? I played in Buffalo. We played a game in Toronto, so they had this I remember whole that. thing. That was, and, when was that? Like in the late nineties? Uh, no, it was a uh, two oh nine. Same thing to you. Oh nine. Though. Oh, nine. So you know it had this thing. T O <laughs> and B Lo. T O and T O. This right. night. So when I when I've gone to the Toronto Stadium Arena, it's like like people like they show you a lot of love. For Buffalo, I but when the research I, go, I did said Philadelphia. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool too. I, I, I made my five mark teams. everywhere I went. Five teams. I made five my teams, mark damn. everywhere I went. But yeah, when I go into the arena, like I was blown away. Like I met Nav. I didn't really, and so he has a manager, Rink, Rinku. Rinku, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, mm -hmm. just saw him this past weekend as well. Oh, at and, the All Star game. Yep. Okay. And uh, we went out, and so uh, yeah. So I go in. I go into the arena. We walking through there, and everybody like I expect people to say, "Till." Nav goes through there. Oh, yeah. oh my they God! It is yeah. bananas. Oh, yeah, Superstar. You're a rock star. Bananas. You know, let me tell you something. He's here's how great of a human being he is. I I still have my house in Toronto, but I don't own a car. Mm -hmm. I used to lease a car and just leave it there. And then he was like, Russell, don't. You know how we talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Terrell, don't don't get a car when you're in Toronto. I'll take care of everything for you. <laughs> exactly. I'm listening. I'm that, that's the accent. And no, he's, he's like, I could do him pretty good. <laughs> this is crazy. It sounds just like him. And he's like, so Russell, don't get a car when you're here. Anytime you come, I give you whatever car you want. <laughs> so whenever I go to Toronto, he hooks me up and gives me a car, and then he just nice. takes it back when I leave. Nice. And nice. then I told he was like, what car do you like? And I was like. I don't know, maybe like an Escalade, just something like an SUV. He went and fucking bought an Escalade just, wow. just for me to have. Bro, and I'm like, the most generous, that? most That's generous guy It makes me feel good and bad at the same That's time. Right, like, right. Because you know he's a good person. You're like, And it's coming from a good place. Yeah, yeah I would have just taken cool. whatever bullshit you had. Exactly, right, right. But You, you could have given me a hoopty. I would have been fine. Yeah, but he ain't so got he no bought hoopties. his friend an Escalade, T. But he ain't got am no I, hoopties. Friend, he got that new Rolls Royce truck. Exactly. He ain't got no hoopties. You go buy me an Escalade, you buddy? He ain't got no hoopties, you though. You know what I mean? Escalade, buddy? Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? You go, go I like, do that impression, that person, that person again. Harold, so good to see you, my brother. Are you good? <laughs> Everything is Hamill's family. Health is all good. <laughs> hey, yeah, ask me if the, 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 the Raptors going to win tonight because they're playing the Cavs. So do you think the Raptors have chance tonight? That's exactly what he was saying. I swear to you. God, that's exactly. He's been going to take them. Don't worry. <laughs> and he's been the, with them since the inception of the. Right? Yeah, ninety five. Wow. Wow. Ninety four. Ninety four. Ninety five. Ninety five. Okay. Wow. Super. Because all the Raptors fan. used to come to the. We used to do these black comedy nights in Toronto, mm -hmm. and uh, it was on a one the last Sunday or the first Sunday of every month. Mm -hmm. And I used to be on every one of those black shows, and they would come. Uh, all, all the Raptors would come, so I got like pictures of me and like all these no name Raptors, like <laughs> AC Earl and Doug Christie. <laughs> I'm Doug Christie. Yeah, I got a yeah. picture of me and uh, and Steph Curry's dad. What was his name again? Del. Dale. Del yeah, Curry. Del Curry. Yeah, Del Curry. I found all these pictures. Del I'm trying Curry. to find the one of Dell, but I, I found the one of me and Doug Christie, and and then Vince Carter used to come and Tracy yeah, McGrady. All them big. cats yeah. used to come. That's when they was big. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's when they was yep, big. Yep. Um, so, so you know something something we do on the show we have a, a social status segment okay. where we talk about like I said uh, your social media mm -hmm. uh, like a DM that you might have got or a tweet or something like that that kind of maybe rubbed you the wrong way or rubbed you the right listen, way there's every, listen there's listen every fucking something. tweet and yeah. Instagram comment rubs me the wrong way <laughs> because I have a very poor uh, image of self so everything I read <laughs> take it I, I take it, I read it in the tone of an asshole. Like, there you uh, go. Let, me, let me read you one right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, just find random. One. We'll find let's a random find one. A random... It won't even matter. Oh, this is a first on the show. Like some, we're pulling <laughs> hey, up some this. real, like some real time type of stuff. Okay, let's see. Let's say some social um, status segment with Russell. Left a comment. Russell Peters. Hilarious. Okay, oh, I hope on it's on a picture. good one too. I hope they're talking bad about it. You. No, they won't. It, even if they're not. I read <laughs> you it like read it have. as like as like hey hello how you having a good day that jerk yeah you wish son me of a, a bitch. good day <laughs> fuck your good day you know what I mean <laughs> um where's one so you never like Ice Cube today was a good day I felt like Cube because today was a good day 
Who was that? It was King T. I'm a hip hop nerd, so. Okay. Yeah, do you, you, watch, you ever watch Hip Hop Evolution on Netflix? That's your show, right? That's my show. Yeah, that's your show. Producer. Congratulations. No, I have I have to check it out. Now I will. We did a I, Southern I like, episode in season four. I like, I, like, I like Netflix every now and then. I like I Netflix and chill. Wow. Every time you Netflix and chill, you Netflix and breed. So maybe you should. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you should stop hey, man, is what you, he's saying. You, you bust in a Netflix is what you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you heard him. Yeah. Wrap it up, literally well, and worry. figuratively. Listen, 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 I, listen. <laughs> and that's what we're going to do. We're going to wrap this thing up. <laughs> listen, I'm going to go Stay with this. Stay tuned to get your popcorn ready. If, we have a man. If Russell you're not Peter. ready to Everybody, die for it, you don't want it. Everybody, let's thank Russell Peters for being here. We're about to wrap this thing on up. Oh. No. Whatever. Basically, somebody can leave me a comment and be like, hey, man, I like your shirt. Right, right. Or like, oh, yo, that shirt is fire. Mm -hmm. And I'll be, and I'll read as, yo, that shirt's fire. Like like they almost forgot to put dick at the end. You know what I mean? That shirt's fire, dick. Right. And but, like, but that's why? how my brain works. That's your interpretation. <laughs> that's my interpretation of everything I read. Like I'm gonna take so a you picture. So you be you be an easy target then to just get you riled. Yeah, no, because I don't, I don't respond, came. but I get mad as fuck on the inside. <laughs> so no, <laughs> so why, nobody's though? ever giving you some material to put you enough I'll to respond. respond. I'm like, listen, motherfucker. So you do respond. <laughs> you some, no, I stopped. I used to do that. I'm like, yo, why don't you meet me somewhere and say that to my face? And then right. if you leave with teeth, you did good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but I you, straight up be like, want to fight everybody? I'm like, fuck you. But you, because I know what I look like. It. I'm didn't not intimidating it. looking. That's why I like to do it to people. Because I'm like, yeah, you oh. do like you do like a banker or something. Yeah, yeah, you misunderstood this yeah. whole situation. Okay, yeah, I want you to do my taxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah you look like you're a little banker. Your taxes be all fucked up. By <laughs> Down in Koreatown somewhere. You know, uh, Paul used to be an, a, a tax attorney. I didn't know that. Really? That's why he doesn't have any hair. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> wow. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> my man taking shots. Ooh. My man taking shots at yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Y'all taking them at me. Hey. Yeah. Hey, y'all taking them at me. Hey, I'm throwing them back. I'm shooting back, baby. That's right. I'm shooting them back. You over here laughing at his jokes and shit. You might get knocked up. Yeah. <laughs> y'all, you over here laughing at all his jokes, his breeding jokes. Because they're funny. Yeah, That's Paul think I don't. both breeding by accident. Hey, that's all right. Yeah. Paul think I can't see through your big head him laughing back there. I <laughs> yeah, I'm it's taking right. shots back at Paul. That's what we there. do. We shoot on him. Do you remember? Wait, wait, do you, ready, do you remember Kazoo from the Flintstones? I do not. Kazoo? No. Yeah. No. Hello, hey. dum dum. The little green. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. Who your head Kazoo. reminds me of. Yeah. <laughs> that's a wrap, people. That's a wrap, people. We out. That's what I'm saying. Thanks for tuning in, dum dum. <laughs> You know what? Kazoo. <laughs> my man Russell Peters is here trying to take shots. Oh Since it's his day, we, I'm going to let him oh have it. I ain't going to go at him too hard. Kazoo. That's going to be your day. Hi, <laughs> Kazoo. I gotta, oh my I gotta, god! I gotta, I gotta you gotta right Google now. it, dog. Oh Google. my god! We're gonna change your picture, dog. Or, or, I gotta. Oh, or should get I your do? popcorn or I ready say, with Tio and Kazoo. Z oh, oh, Kazoo. <laughs> oh my god! Dum, dum. Oh my yeah. Forget you. It talks just up. like that. Dum dum. That's <laughs> <laughs> my man. Yeah. I hate <laughs> oh my god. My uh Instagram, don't fuck with me on this. <laughs> I, I will block and 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 report. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the block and report. Block and report. Um, at Russell Peters on Instagram and at the real Russell P on Twitter. But really who the fuck goes to Twitter anymore? I'm, I'm oh, a yeah, Twitter. It's, it's I'm a lot of people are active guy. on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, on Twitter, I'm, I'm not. I just link it and I just. Are you a Twitterer a or linker. you're a tweeter? I'm an Instagrammer and yeah. I link and then. But I have I'm way more tweeter. followers on fucking Twitter. I have 4.2 million on Twitter and 370 thousand on Instagram. So I'm so way more. You got you to get yeah, your yeah. fan engagement. You got to engage you gotta get a your bit Q more. Up, I like buddy. it, dog. I hate it. <laughs> you got to <laughs> engage a bit try, more but on. I'm like, uh, uh, you got to get your social media guy. What is Paul doing? <laughs> got his taxes. He can't talk. <laughs> 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 my tweet. <laughs> any? Uh, you want to promote any any upcoming shows? You got? When is this airing? Uh, next next, week. next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Oh, so but I'll, we, I'll, I'll, I'll be in Columbus, then I'll Columbus. be in Toledo. <laughs> the Columbus Funny Bone, the Toledo Punch Funny Bone. Don't, don't you have a... Um, uh, the a, Grand Rapids uh, Gilda Radner Comedy okay. Festival thing. You got a, a billboard up on Sunset. Yeah, I got a couple of billboards out there. Yeah, you know? man. Congratulations. How's it, how's it feel going on... A, like I, driving know, down Sunset through LA. and seeing I have your... yet to see the billboards. Got to go do I've it. I've had mad people take pictures of and send it and to me, but I've never seen it. So you don't, you're you not curious? I just, am, but I, I don't, I was, at the same time, I'm like, you know how LA is. You make one wrong turn, you're stuck in that traffic for the next hour. <laughs> you I ain't can't got nothing but chance. time. I mean, you you good. Yeah. I got an audition today. 
Then I got for go what? Back. What you auditioning for? For a a, a, a Hulu series. There you oh, go. Okay. And yeah. then uh, and then I got to go Multiple back to the times. house and and shoot Big Daddy Kane's documentary. Hulu, Hulu has live sports. Hulu has live sports. Do they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they do. You didn't know. Yeah, I know I you know, didn't, know know that. didn't know that. Because Russell Peters knows nothing about. I know. Sports. I have Hulu. DAZN. That's why I have, we have. Him on I have the a show. subscription to DAZN. <laughs> and uh, and then ESPN Plus, so I can watch UFC. That's all you need. That's it. That's all you need. That's all you need. You're gonna and be in town uh, March March 13th. What day of the week is that? I don't know. Sean Merriman's. Uh, oh, uh, MMA. We're MMA. Gonna go fighting. Yeah. His his <clears throat> company has the whole show, right? Yeah. No, They're promoting. In, uh, that's his promo. Prom- I'm in Denver that day. Okay, you'll miss it. You'll hear about it though. I've hung out with Sean Merriman once. Yeah, he's a cool guy. I think I think he's a cool guy. I mean, he's got like a. I, I sense a bully mentality from him a little bit. That's that. That's linebacker. That's a he's defensive. Big. He's so a that's big. A defensive yeah, but I, I, see, I don't fall for that shit. I'm like, <laughs> why are you mm, looking up though? Because he's a big motherfucker. <laughs> oh yeah, he's huge. He's a big dude. Yeah, he's a big. I'm, dude. I'm not gonna start nothing, but I'm like, man, just don't fucking be trying to eyeball me like. That. <laughs> yeah, I met him through Chuck Liddell because Chuck Liddell's my neighbor, and we we hang out. So okay, Sean and Chuck. Got you. Got you. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, man, yeah. appreciate you. Thank you for this is the second or third goodbye we've done on this podcast. You know what? We're gonna Which, do you know two we're gonna, more. Never mind. Get your popcorn ready. Get your goodbyes ready. Get, so, <laughs> get your peace outs ready. On get your popcorn. Peace. Yeah, we just had the show with Russell Peters. Man, I told you he's funny. I told you that's a funny dude, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, I like him. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously, he has an Indian accent. Yeah, that's, yeah. He does it so his, natural, that's right? His culture, but <laughs> again, when he goes on to like really. Im- do an impression or impersonate yeah, somebody yeah. it's hilarious especially with my guy Super Nav in, in Toronto did an amazing right uh, impersonation impression of him so right. uh, the guy the guy's pretty he's pretty talented yeah. I'd say you know what I enjoyed about his uh, the authentic answer of him not knowing anything about football or about sports in general like I said he watches MMA he watches boxing right, right. he ain't watching nothing else you know what I'm saying like that's kind of funny because we expect everybody to watch the Super Bowl or yeah. everybody to watch the NBA Finals. He's like, no, I'm not watching that. Yeah, <laughs> I, and I realized that he probably only knows maybe two football players, right? Not including you. That's no, me and, no, that's not including Ray, you. That's me and Ray Lewis. He just found out who you were today. And that's again, hilarious. get your no. Q rating up. I'm telling you, this is this is what I'm talking he, you, about. You know what? He and, knows who you are now. No, we go back 15 years, so he knows. <laughs> you may have been in the vicinity of, <laughs> of where he was 15 years ago, but he has no. You earthly know, idea who you are wow, until he came in here and he saw this big ass forehead yeah right that's Not my forehead, guy almost five, five head, head. <laughs> exactly shut your butt up you know what it's funny he didn't he doesn't know what a Q rating is neither he no, probably he has does. A, a big one he don't even know it he, he like has said. a general idea he said right, yeah right. it has something to do with popularity right which is close to it. Right, right. Like I said, I mean, he's, he's, like I said, he's known around the world. And like I said, we can put this whole studio into his house. That's how big his house is. Oh, yeah, is. especially in Calabasas. Yeah, you get a little he, bit more money for your, uh, a yeah. little bang for your buck yeah, for your we, money we, out there. We know you're sitting on 15,000 squeak, Russell. We know what time it is. Or should yeah. I say, Russell? <laughs> <laughs> Russell. Pitas. Russell Pitas. Pitas. From Mumbai. And that's a wrap, guys. Hey, for everybody out there, I'm telling you, subscribe. The Get Your Popcorn Ready podcast on Himalaya app or wherever you get your podcast. And remember to subscribe on the Himalaya app or wherever you get your podcast to get your popcorn ready. Yee! Yep. Leave us any comments. If you give us some feedback, what you like, don't like about the, about the show. Even if you do don't like it, who cares? Don't I know like. what they don't like. They don't like what you're wearing sunglasses inside. That's hey, what they don't like. Everybody always says something about my shades on the inside. Hey. Y'all don't say nothing with two chains where he is. Everybody else. Chain? You ain't two chains. <laughs> right. You ain't even you're right. one chain. Hold on. No, no, I got one chain. Oh, look at it. And it just came broke. And, and no, broke it ain't broke. And it just came loose. It is I'm break. Watching. No, it's not. It's not broken. It's not on right now. But it ain't on. broke. It just came unhatched. Hatch. <laughs> That's I'm coming unhatched. Oh, yeah.